Hey, uh, everybody out there. This is Galactic Wacko. Um, I hate to give this report, but it looks like uh, things are really taking a turn for craziness. Uh, you had the Gulf oil spill, right? And a lot, a lot of people say, uh, was it this? Was it that? Uh, you know, nobody knows. There's some rituals involved with it from Montalmaros. The 7-Eleven capping and everything. Uh, was it a false flag? And then there's people getting sick. And there's all these different things going on. And then uh, I was watching this guy, BP Oil Disaster. And he had these videos months ago. And it was like these crazy things that were like swimming in the Gulf. And then there was these forms, and these shapes of things. It was just all these odd things. I mean, really unexplainable. So I've been watching his stuff for months. And he was saying that he thinks it's a new life form. He thinks it's aliens. He says it's it's eating the steel and then it transforms the steel and it morphs it into shapes of things that look like snakes or reptiles or bugs. So... I did a video, Aliens in the Gulf, where you can actually almost see it. it looks like it has some type of intelligence. So then, so all that stuff's gone on. And now these reports are coming out. And then, and then uh, BP All Disaster realized it, that it was Cynthia, that they dumped a synthetic life form that was discovered in May of 2010. Okay, that's when they're saying it was discovered. I believe that's a Craig Venter, Synthetic Genomics. He's funded by the U.S. government. And he's going to privately hold uh, the patents to this new synthetic life form. Now, what this synthetic life form does... Now, w what the, what the, what's going on here is... The, the, the synthetic life form... Uh, there's an algae that eats oil, but it's not indigenous to the Gulf, I guess. So when the oil disappeared so quick, it was essentially this guy's creation because he created an artificial life form, a synthetic life form, a synthetic bacteria that did the job of the algae, essentially. So it, it, it's a chip that's programmed, it's a bacteria or a cell that's programmed in a computer and they take the, that pr program and they shoot it into a bacteria it uh, takes over and replicates into the bacteria and it becomes a new type of life form with a pre-programmed uh, disposition from a computer so they put that stuff in the core exit and then they dumped it into the gulf by the tons of these this bacteria that's synthetic life form and then you got people in the Gulf that have uh, skin irritations uh, the fish don't smell right uh, there's methane the guys there's chemists that uh, you know glasses are blowing up and stuff like that which methane would make sense because if it's uh, eating the oil, then it has a digestive process, and the prod byproduct is going to be a methane gas, essentially. So that's where the methane can come in. So the synthetic life form goes down into the Gulf, and it just goes hog wild, and it replicates. So then there was this other thing that came up recently. If you look at, so this thing's in the Gulf, right? This synthetic life form is in the Gulf. And it gets into the Gulf Stream. And if you follow the Gulf Stream all the way up, you'll reach my next story. When it hits, uh, when it heads north up the coast and it goes right up towards Canada and Greenland and everything, and goes, and it tra happens to travel right where the Titanic is sunk. The Titan IC, Titan 3-9.
or uh, nine three, which is fucking uh, Lucifer or Satan or whatever, whatever you want to say. So this life form, the Titanic right now is getting eaten by a new bacteria. And they named it the Titanica bacteria. It's a new, they suddenly just discovered this. And now the Titanic's getting eaten by a new bacteria. There's a new bacteria that's doing skin infections in the Gulf. The slime from the fish is off. It's gone. The Titanic is getting eaten. The methane is increasing. And there's a guy, Believers Underground, he's talking about post-glacial rebound where the water is melting already because of nuclear fallout in the ice core. So now you add in to mix all this methane from these bugs eating everything. You're going to have mass methane everywhere, probably. And not only that, you got this th synthetic life form that's going hog wild. Now... The, Gulf, the, the, the oil spill happened on Hitler's birthday, April 20th or something. In May, this guy comes out and says he, uh, he discovered he made a new life form. Uh, and then they have meetings in Congress, and now they're going to be putting these synthetic life forms in the vaccines next year. Synthetic genomics with Novartis. Nov, Novum is nine. Nov, art is. It's like saying Lucifer art is. <laughs> and they're going to stick the synthetic bacteria life form in the vaccine and inject you with a life form which would probably be a cousin to whatever is eating whatever is going on out into the, in the Titanic. Because who knows what they program that bacteria to do. The computer programmed the bacteria to do a certain job. And that's all that bacteria does. And it could self-replicate. Who knows? Maybe it could think. And they shoot it into your body. And guess what? <laughs> And the Exxon has commercials with the synthetic genomics talking about the algae now. And then the Titanic, the, this news stories, they talk about the, you know, oh, it's, you got to be careful about tankers and all that stuff. You could see the shipping lane shut out because everything's getting eaten. And then everyone's going to be getting injected with this life form that's going hog wild in the Gulf. <laughs> they're going to be shooting their will into you the mark of the beast is Craig Venter synthetic genomics of Artis vaccines they'll use the they'll program a, a virus and they'll uh, spread it and then they'll come as the saviors we got the we got the the cure for it. You just need to take a shot and your fever's gone and you're healthy again. So it's either die from the virus or take this shot with the synthetic bacteria in it. Which would you choose? Would you take the shot? Because what I've heard is the shot will make you feel real great for two years and then eventually your whole entire immune system will be gone. Three, four years, and you're going to always need a shot. <laughs> you want to stay here. So I'm going to put a bunch of um, everything I talked about. I'm going to put articles in this video uh, with videotape. I'm just going to play it in no particular order, but you can listen to what I was talking about. And you can watch the video, because, uh, you know. But I'm telling you right now, if you people, if you're a Christian, or you, you just believe in a creator, you better download this video, upload it again, I don't care. Just do it. 
and at least have people get the discussion going and uh, get the attention going so that uh, everybody can begin to understand the exact situation that we're in. So good luck, and I love you all very much. possibly the most controversial research facility in the world. Now I can't tell you exactly where I'm going because a lot of people are dead set against both what's going on out there and the man who runs the entire operation. Craig Venter was one of the first people to decipher what makes us people and not say dolphins or seaweeds. He jointly sequenced the human genome, the complete set of genes that is unique to humans. And Venter is now taking that genetic research one step further because he wants to create new forms of life. For some, Craig Venter holds the answers to our world's future. But to others, he's Frankenstein, a scientist playing God. Well, we're trying to understand basic life by uh, learning how to now write the genetic code. So we start with the digital code in the computer and four bottles of chemicals, and we actually build the DNA molecule from scratch. So you're designing a genetic code on the computer, and then you're actually making it in the laboratory. Exactly. And I'm sure some people will be very scared of that notion. Some people prefer to live in a cave and uh, work with whale oil lamps, right? Is there any danger that in the future they will harm the environment or harm us because they're not natural living beings? If what you're looking at is the Deepwater Horizon, the condo well located in Canyon 252 in the Gulf of Mexico. I am now prepared to say that I am 100% convinced without a doubt that there is some type of alien life force in the Gulf of Mexico that is able to embed itself into the steel equipment and transform and morph it into different types of creatures. The first time that I noticed this was my video that I made of the small steel bar transforming into the small head of what looks to me like a little reptile. I was out for 28 days, my clothes didn't smell like fish. A little diesel fuel on them, but it wasn't even fishy. I mean, the slime's going off the fish, man, I ain't, I, you had to go see it yourself. I mean, you really had to go see it, the tramps like rubber. I ain't never boiled shrimp and throwed them away. When I come in, my, me and my wife and my pop, we boiled some shrimp, we throwed them in the woods. But my clothes didn't smell like it. I don't care what nobody said. I stand in front of the United States, the, the, the president, hall and tell him what I know. The plume is actually disappearing. The plume is being biodegraded. That there is a new form of microbiology that is... That's peroxide. And I did the same thing that I'm doing now when the back of my legs broke out. Um, the salt, uh, Epsom salt and baking soda baths. And then when I got out, I would dry off, let it air out a little bit. And there was 27 before. It was bad. Um, and then I would come and I would spray the, the um, peroxide on it. And then I followed it with alcohol to stop the peroxide from eating at it because the peroxide eats at it, you can feel it, it's gross. I've never had to deal with anything like this before in my life, but a friend of mine studies natural medicine and um, I'm real thankful for her. The salt, the Epsom salt and bacon soda bass pulled like even the small ones, everything stopped as soon as it started doing what she told me to do. And of course taking my antibiotics, but obviously it must be in my system or this wouldn't be happening. Well, the first thing people will probably see is potentially the flu vaccine you get next year could be developed by right. these processes. Thank you very much, Craig Venter.